Well, everyone is happy here at Old Trafford for the time being. I say that because the sun is shining brightly. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United up against West Ham United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Scott McTominay plays with Fred in central midfield. And the front pair, Cristiano Ronaldo, starts together with Marcus Rashford. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And this confrontation is underway. Effective challenge. They're making high pressing work for them here. Really effective shielding under pressure. Options in the middle. Well, he has the measure of his man. Succeeded in keeping it in play. And space to attack. Scott McTominay. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Antonio. And out for a throw-in. Just misfiring with the pass. The cross is on. Well, a bit short with the clearance. And a time for composure on the ball. And he's taken it away. Vladimir Kuval. Suchek. On the ball, Mikhail Antonio. And West Ham in a position of menace. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Going well. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Not the best free kick we'll see today. Well off target. Well, not really what he was looking for there. That's a waste of a good situation. <laughs> 
Fred. Went in strongly, decisively. Antonio. Must be. Oh, tremendous block. Just can't get it past them. West Ham recovering possession. Pablo Fornals. Said Benrama. Delivered into the area here. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Well read to put an end to that attack. Well, West Ham have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Sancho. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. More goalkeeper mistake. Will there be a price to pay? Top-class goalkeeping. Fred, really vital interception. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Opportunity here. It's still alive. And in at the second time of asking. But the goalkeeper badly at fault. Well, here it is again, and I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone, and at this level, you're always going to be punished. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Example of how to execute a slide tackle. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Aaron Cresswell. Antonio. Good work to win the ball back by United. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And a strong tackle. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, one thing we'd have to say about Marcus Rashford in that first half, very difficult to subdue. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though? So the ball is moving again, and work to do for West Ham in this second half. Scott McTominay, and the attack looks promising. Superb block. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. For Niles. Declan Rice. An effective challenge. Ronaldo. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Sloppy in possession from West Ham. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Bruno Fernandes. He's showing a real will to win the ball. For Niles. Couldn't keep it. 
Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And Fred winkling possession away from the opposition. Ronaldo untidy with the ball. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And continues his run. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Scott McTominay. It's with McTominay. Here is Fred. Cristiano Ronaldo. Doughty defending to win the ball back. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Said Benrama. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Substitution for West Ham United coming off the pitch. Number 41, Deftel Rice coming onto the pitch. Number 16, Fred Noble. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Antonio. And it's Mark Noble. Well, no stopping him. For Niles. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Van de Beek. Really getting stuck in. Antonio. They couldn't maintain possession. That's very effective. Good high pressing. 15 minutes left for play. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Crossing opportunity. And he's won the ball. Antonio Vladimir Kufal and forward they go chasing the game but really sticking to their task defensively wasteful from United Pablo Fornals oh he saved it well a corner then and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Substitution for and a substitution in the offing. The number 20, Jared Bowen. Coming onto the pitch, number 7, Andrew Yamalenko. He's driven in the corner. Able to deal with the threat. Issa Diop. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And nearing full time, United inching ever closer to victory. Can they hang on? Stuart, your thoughts as regards their performance? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. And this time the run, sadly, that's offside.
Marcus Rashford to progress by 21, Edinson Cavani. Sancho. Couldn't quite hang on. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And that is the end of the game. It goes down as a United triumph. The fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, a good performance as per usual from Marcus Rashford. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, he was at his best today. Lots of energy, good movement and plenty of skill. And to cap it all off, he got the winning goal. That was a brilliant performance.